Today we're going to look at setting up a simple lead CRM in Google Sheets. So we're going to go ahead and build this from scratch. I'm just going to walk you through some different ways to set this up. So let's go ahead and set up some of our columns that we'll use. So let's just do agent date name email phone lead source status and notes so we'll start with that for now get rid of these extra columns go ahead and put a little bit of formatting on here and lock our top row just dragging that down so now that I scroll down my header will stay there all right so I'm gonna go ahead and set up some drop downs here so we don't have to type this in every time so I'm just gonna create a new tab called drop downs so we'll call this agent and let me go ahead and grab a list of names here the other ones I want to set up is lead source and status Let's go ahead and set those up. All right. Let's get rid of the rest of these for now. Let's go ahead and get the rest of these out of here. All right. So let's go ahead and propagate our drop downs. So, agent. So Google just changed their dropdown data validation. So you can just click drop down here. And I'm going to select drop down. We'll go ahead and pick drop down from range. And go ahead and pick agent. I don't want that header, so I'll just go put two there. Now with our new drop downs, you can select a color. If you want to highlight each name or each value with a particular color, we're going to go ahead and leave this for now. Um, you can also see that um, we'll go ahead and apply this. Um, they have this new chip thing that you can select, or we can go back to the old arrow. So you can do whichever you like. You can also notice that you can now quickly edit your drop down from this drop down here. All right. <coughs> so I'm going to apply a date validation here. Go ahead and add this. This one we want to be is valid date. Go ahead and reject input. Name, email, phone, that'd be fine. Lead source. Add rule. Drop down from range. Let's go ahead and change this to arrow as well. And finally for status, add a rule. And status. <coughs> so the status one is one where you may want to add some colors. You can add some blues and stuff like that um, for your different colors here. So whatever colors you select <coughs> will show up there. For now, we'll just leave this alone because I'm going to do some highlighting on the entire row instead of just in that cell. That should be it for now. Let's go ahead and expand this notes a little bit. Maybe change this. I like doing uppercase here. <coughs> and then just so I'm not here typing for 20 minutes, I'm just gonna grab some data here to pull in. All right. So we got some data here now. Let's go ahead and change this format here. So <clears throat> we can select a custom date if you like to pick certain date formats. 
you can also make your own. Um, select here and you can do commas, whatever. So I like just the simple month, day, two digit year. Go ahead and centralize that. So what I want to do here is highlight the entire row based on the status. So I'm going to go ahead and do some conditional formatting. And I have a dedicated video on this if you want to know more about how this works. I'm just going to do some quick data validation here, or a formula here. So I'm just locking the column. So this is telling me to only look in column G for the text cold. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that nice icy blue. Go ahead and add another one for warm. Let's change that one to yellow. Another one for hot. Go ahead and change that to red. And maybe we want one and lost. We could go through and set all these if we like. I'm just gonna set it for these couple here. So one, Let's go ahead and change that to green. Add another rule, and lost. Maybe we'll change this one to a dark gray. <clears throat> That's how you can set the whole row based on that status. I'm going to add a quick filter. And so what this filter allows you to do is to quickly check someone's leads and see what they're doing. And so this select all and clear. If you do select all, you'll see everything. If you go here, you can click clear. And whatever you have a check mark by is the one that you'll see. So let's just say we want to see John and Katie's. You can just really select like that. You can do this across multiple columns. If it gets confusing, let's say we went into here, just did one, and you notice that this three horizontal lines turns into a funnel. And if you apply a filter across many columns, it might be hard to go back to reset this, because to reset this, I would have to go back to select all. Right here, I'd have to go back to select all. So one thing you can do is click up here in the upper left by A and 1. And then the shortcut for filter, just click remove and apply again. So just double click on that. And it'll remove the filter and reapply it without any of the settings. So that's a quick way to reset if you have a bunch of filters applied across many different columns. So some other things we could do. Maybe you're a fan of the checkbox or the um, seven touches. So let me go ahead and get rid of these drop downs. Uh, so F. Get rid of that one. So let's go ahead and drop this down one. I'm gonna get rid of this. This. I'm gonna use the seven touch methodology here. Let's add three more. So there's the sales philosophy that says if you make contact seven times then you'll be able to complete a sale. So let's just do touches. We do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we can simply add some checkboxes here. They're kind of big and obnoxious right now. Let's go ahead and drop those down in size a little bit. And this is a quick way that you could say um, check every time you contacted, for example, Wolfgang. And you can tell if you contacted three times, go here to select four, five, and so forth. And then you'll be able to tell if you got to seven and you still hadn't closed the sale, uh, maybe it's time to move on. So that's a quick way to be able to track that kind of metric. Um, you can use check boxes to kind of track anything that would be a yes, no, or true, false kind of metric. Um, obviously we're already using drop downs here. <clears throat> Another thing that you may want to do is 
have a last contact date. Let's go ahead and select this drop down. Move rule. And change this to a date. So last contacted may be a good one just to know um, the last time that you contacted somebody. And so obviously within your framework, you probably know the metrics you're going to use, um, what you want to track. And so this last contact may or may not be a perfect view, but that's just an idea for you on how to use that. Obviously other things that people use, um, and I won't go through them now, people use uh, a confidence, um, maybe a value that they think the deal is going to land. And so we can go ahead and delete this M. Change this to a dollar sign. And then you can leave notes over here as well. So this is kind of a quick way to set up a CRM. <coughs> Let's go ahead and take a quick look at what a very simple dashboard would look like. I'm not going to spend the time to make this look really pretty at the moment. But I'm just going to give you an idea of the metrics you can use. So for example, we could pull out the lead sources here. And I just used a unique. This will just pull all the different kinds of lead sources we have in here. And then we can use a simple count ifs. And select our O and then compare it to our lead source. So then we can drag down. We can see our lead sources. We can make a quick pie chart here. And see where our lead sources come in by percentage. We could also do leads or agents. And dig it here. We do number of leads. Go ahead and get rid of that three so it doesn't drag down. So we could do number of leads. We could do number one, number lost, number cold, number warm, and number hot. Let's go make this a little smaller, dragged up there. So what we can do here, let's actually make this one lost, cold, warm, and hot, and you'll see why here in a second. I'm going to grab, let's see here, and that's in P. I'm going to change this to account if, so I can do multiple criteria. Change this to P, and then go up to this D12, where I have this one text. I'm going to lock the 12 there just so it doesn't drag down. And I can see we have our one, one for John. And if we drag this across, so let me see, I need to change. Let's go ahead and update this here. I'm going to drag this, but I don't want these to change, so I'm going to lock these. Lock this B13. This P drags back down and over. And now you can see our numbers across the board. So that's what we can also do a quick chart. And see the number of leads by agent. Alright, so that's a super quick overview 
of setting up a quick CRM in Google Sheets. Leave me a comment in the video if you'd like to see some different variations in this or if you have a specific project need. All right, thanks guys, see you again soon.